Hey Stu Tickies, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to green screen. So you can be, I don't know, underwater? At the pyramids? In New York? In space? Anywhere you want to and it's so very simple. So like I said before, creating it is actually incredibly simple if you've got the right equipment. All the equipment that I've got is pretty much by newer and it's probably the most affordable that you can get on the market, especially if you want professional stuff. So that is my main green screen and you can see I've got two lights pointing at it and I've also got a light in front of the camera and that is the camera that would be facing me right now. As you can see, I'm in the picture. That's it, that is all we've got. One light there, one light there, and one light there, and the green screen itself. Simples, and obviously you need some sort of movie software that has got a key. What I use is my Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna show you a little bit later on how to get the effect. So this is the light that I've got. It's the newer, it's model NL480, and I've got a set of two of them they run off the mains. Now, ideally you want to have the setting exactly the same on both sets of lights and you want them to be pointing at the green screen the way I've done it there and to have it equally at equal distances. As you can see, settings are pretty much the same there. Light I've got here is just a regular light, uh, any sort of light source you want as long as it lights you up. Ideally you want all the lighting equal. Now this green screen is crazy easy to use. Watch this. That is it. It's down. It's away. Clip here. Put these over. Very, very simple. To set it up, do the opposite. Put that there, put that there. That is it, that's all you have to do is lift. And it's done. Obviously you've got to make sure that it fits the shot properly. So simple. Right. Let's go on to the software now. So now this is the software process. This is the Final Cut Pro. Right, so what you have to do is just get your regular stock footage. Now this, what I mean by that is the clip that I had uh, made up earlier on. And if we press that now, you'll find that this is just raw footage and it's got the green screen behind it. I've also got footage here of different things that I want to put behind it. Pyramids, for example. So we're all set. All we have to do is find Kier, which so you have to go over to the Effects tab and click on, or key in Kier. Here it is here, and then we drag it onto your clip, like that, and it will go all dark. As long as it goes black, we are good to go. And then it's just a case of putting whatever footage you want to put on underneath the clip. So I mentioned that I wanted to be underwater. So there's a scene underwater. So if I take a cut from there, I take it out from there, and then I put it underneath, and then click it, I'm now under water. Or if I want to go into the pyramids, make that a little bit longer. There I am. I'm at the pyramids. There we go. Now, if I want to make myself smaller, very easy to do that too. Just go into the transform there and then make that smaller. And I can put myself there, for example. Easy. Another film bit, maybe in space. 
And there you are, I'm in space and I can make myself bigger again. Put it right in the smack back in the middle. That's it, it really is really, really simple. One thing I will show you is a clip earlier on, and this is a, another clip here. Now if I put that on, and then I put the keyer onto that, then I put something darker on it, you'll see just there, I've got a little bit of shadow, and that was caused by a little bit of shadow on my green screen. Now if I just take that back, And even the unedited, you cannot really see there's much difference there. So there is a bit of trial and error with your lighting. And that's just something that I need to point out. So if you like this video, please, big thumbs up. If you thought it was a pile of cack, big thumbs down. Let me know in the comments how I can improve my videos if you didn't like it. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to ring the bell, which I would like you to do, but if you don't want to do that, Please look at your subscription tab every now and again, and if you subscribe to me, you will see my videos on that feed. Thank you very much for watching. Stay frosty. Bye-bye.